Hey everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm reviewing something that's long overdue and that's my top 10 all-inclusive resort brands. And the countdown of these 10 brands will be based on value, variety, as well as quality of service, dining, and facilities. And of course, this is solely based on my opinions and personal experiences. None of these brands have ever paid me or compensated me in any way. We always pay full price for our days, but I just want to take this moment to say that I do appreciate that so many of you value my honest reviews. That really means a lot. So let's check these brands out to see which ones provide the best experiences, because unlike holiday gifts, you can't return a bad vacation. Number 10, The Couples Brand. So first of all, if you haven't experienced the brand firsthand, their properties are a lot more low-key and relaxing than the branding and advertisements make them appear. While yes, their locations are exclusively for couples, you don't see a bunch of couples kissing and gazing into each other's eyes here. It's mostly middle-aged couples sipping on beer and cocktails on the beach and reading the latest best-selling novel. So just to give you some perspective so you know what to expect in terms of the vibe at their properties. But if you are celebrating a honeymoon or anniversary, they do have special little extras and touches to make your visit more special, like candlelit dinners on the beach and congratulation banners across your room door. A big plus from the brand is their rooms, which are usually elegant yet modern, and most have balconies with good views, plus mini bars that are restocked based on your request. That's a big thing that's very unique about their properties. So more specifically, their mini bars usually come standard with a couple different types of soda and red striped beer, but you can request red, white, and sparkling wine, as well as full-size bottles of whiskey, gin, vodka, and their famous local Appleton rum at no additional cost to you. So that's a really big perk. Some other unique pros for their brand is that in addition to the expected unlimited meals and drinks, their properties also include free unlimited golf, that's rare, although you are required to hire a caddy and tip them, so only technically free, but you also get both motorized and non-motorized water sports, including scuba diving, another rare perk, and free excursions, including glass bottom boat tours and sunset catamaran cruises, which include rum punch and beer. So for all you get included with your stay, they're also a very good value. But probably the biggest thing their brand is known for, or maybe infamous for, is most of their properties have a dedicated nude section, usually in a separate little island. And the big thing to know is that their policy is clothing prohibited in these sections, not clothing optional. So you have to be willing to bear it all to enter those designated sections. So definitely something important to note before booking their properties. But overall, they're a very strong brand. The biggest negative against them, which is why they sit at number 10, is their lack of property options in general. They only have four locations and they're all in Jamaica, divided between Ocho Rios and Negril. So if you're looking for an all-inclusive experience outside of Jamaica, that's an automatic no for you guys. But in my opinion, their best location is Couples Swept Away, which is a beautiful location on famous Seven Mile Beach. And I also like Couples Negril, which is perfect for couples looking for a more relaxing vibe on secluded Bloody Bay. Bad name, but great place. And they have some breathtaking and really romantic sunsets there. So while it's not perfect, there's very little to complain about with the Couples all-inclusive brand. Number nine, the Ryu Resort brand. I've been talking about them a lot lately because I think they get judged pretty harshly and unfairly overall. So I get complaints on my videos that a lot of the properties that I review are too pricey, even though I always say, hey, I know this is an expensive place, but yet here you have the perfect example of an all-inclusive brand that provides very nice vacation experiences, maybe not luxurious, but definitely nice for a very reasonable price but no one wants to give them a chance. It actually still surprises me how many people want luxury without having to pay for it. But with the Ryu Resorts, I actually consider them to be the best all-inclusive value brand out there. 
Now, with that being said, you have to be careful about which location you choose, because they're definitely not all created equal, and with almost 70 locations around the world, nine of which are adults only, they really run the gamut from outdated and boring to very stylish, modern, and fun. But generally speaking, most of their properties are very active and perfect if you're looking to have a good time and drink a lot. I've talked about their rooms many times before as well and how they all look pretty much the same across all their locations, so not much in the way of style, but they do offer brand-wide perks like mini bars with liquor dispensers and free 24-hour room service. Some outdoor things to expect across their locations is at least one huge pool, lots of entertainment options both during the day and night, and 50 of the nearly 70 locations are 24-hour all-inclusives, which means food and alcohol are available around the clock, which if you're familiar with some bigger name brands, that's very rare and one of their best perks in my opinion. One of my favorite locations is Hotel Rio Ocho Rios, which is a really good example of what you get in one of the better quality Rio properties. With a ton of services and entertainment options, the property is huge with a big private beach, two big pools, seven restaurants, great rooms with mini bars and liquor dispensers and private balconies, most of which have really great ocean views. And the best part is the average night stay is $225, so a fantastic value for such a great property, which is what this all-inclusive brand is really all about. So if you're in the market for a nice yet affordable all-inclusive vacation, give the Ryu brand a try because I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Number eight, the Royalton brand. So this brand tends to have mostly mega resorts with really great pools, and they tend to be more geared for adults, not necessarily couples, but adults with either adults-only properties or adults-only sections of their properties. So if you're in the market for adults-only all-inclusives, this is a really good brand to go with. Their beaches also tend to be really nice and well-maintained. And one of the unique things about this brand is their Diamond Club, which I've talked about before, and that gives you exclusive access to private beach spaces and lounge areas. And as I've said in past videos, for some locations, it's worth having Diamond Club access, while others, not so much. So it's very location dependent, but in general, a very nice perk. And as far as dining, obviously food and drinks are included, but top shelf liquor is reserved for Diamond Club guests as well. Now this is a big tip for you guys that no one ever talks about. While your rate does cover most taxes, some locations add extra exit and reef taxes, which are those pesky hidden fees that catch guests off guard. So be prepared for that depending on which location you book. The big standout location for this brand is Royalton Chic in Punta Cana, which is an adults-only resort where the rooms are incredibly beautiful and modern, the beach is very nice with wonderful covered daybeds spread everywhere, and the vibe is fun and lively without being too crazy. So a very good example of the type of all-inclusive that you get with this brand. A very stylish property for adult vacationers with modern facilities, and depending on how much you want to spend, the rates tend to be about average slash mid-level prices for an all-inclusive, or if you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can get ocean view balconies with private plunge pools, private beach access, and very good service for more of an upscale stay. So a lot of tailoring flexibility with their brand. And like I said, a really solid and consistent brand option for an adults only all-inclusive vacation. Number seven, the Breathless Resorts. So the first thing to note about this brand is that all their locations are adults only, plus all suites, which are very modern, and some are even luxurious, with big open floor plans and bathrooms, daily restocked mini bars, and balconies with whirlpools. So their suites are definitely a step above most. The pools are another great aspect of their resorts. Most of them have swim-up bars and lazy rivers and come with both food and drink service. This is also a good brand as far as activity options. You'll always find things to do at their properties from snorkeling and sailing to Spanish and dance classes. They have frequent pool parties. And this is one of those brands where if you're looking to have a good time and meet people, it won't be hard to do that as there are many bars and lounges and nightly entertainment values 
since guests definitely tend to socialize more at their locations. I've been spotlighting certain properties that are a good example of what you get with each brand, and for this brand, that would definitely be the Breathless Punta Cana Resort, which is huge. But the good news is, because the property is so spread out, it never feels crowded. And that's actually the case with most of their properties. The grounds throughout the property are very attractive, with palm-shaded walkways and well-manicured lawns that wind through all the bars and restaurants and shops and pools, including a lazy River, which, as I said, is common in their brand, so that's a big plus. Who doesn't love a good lazy river, right? And they also have themed pool parties, which is big for their brand as well. So overall, I'd say this brand is great if you're looking for attractive adults-only properties with a lot of activity options and a fun social vibe. You'll be very happy with this all-inclusive brand. Number six, the Paradisus properties by Melia, which are kind of an interesting mix because I'd say their nine properties are equally suited to both families with kids and couples looking for a romantic getaway. So more specifically, the thing this brand really excels at is the way they divide their properties with separate sections for families, which are called the family concierge sections, and their adults only sections called royal service, which are really nice, you guys. Like among all Caribbean resorts, all inclusive or not, they're just beautiful. So you really get a nice broad appeal no matter what type of vacation you're looking for. And to give you some specific examples for booking, Playa del Carmen La Perla in Mexico and Princesa del Mar in Cuba are both adults only properties, while Playa del Carmen La Esmeralda is geared for families. But across the board for all their properties, the rooms are incredibly luxurious with either balconies or terraces, mini bars and 24 hour room service. Service. The dining itself is generally very good with some of the better international buffets for all inclusives and activities and amenities are better quality as well with tequila and wine tastings and beautiful pools and spas. A minor negative that I have to point out is that tax is not included and that can definitely add up so be sure to factor that into your budgeting. Now, no review of the Paradisus Resorts is complete without mentioning the Reserve at Paradisus Palma Real, which is so nice, you guys. I've talked about it before in other videos, but it's one of the nicest all-inclusives in Punta Cana on beautiful Bavaro Beach. Just so peaceful and relaxing with yoga classes and an incredible spa and one of the biggest pool areas you'll find at an all-inclusive. And the service is top-notch here as well, so an excellent all-inclusive all around. So Paradisus is definitely a top quality all-inclusive, and no matter what type of vacation you're looking for, I think you'll be very happy with their properties. Number 5. The Ibero Star brand, which is big you guys. The biggest brand in terms of location options, with 71 locations across Europe, North and South America, and Africa. And this is another brand that's equally good for families with young children, with lots of kids and teen clubs and pools, or adults only options with their Grand Collections resorts, which are really luxurious and come with butler service, free rounds of golf, and the rooms are some of the nicest at all-inclusives with pillow menus and even your own hand-picked aromatherapy scent so really luxe rooms this brand is also really big on various types of health and fitness classes from pilates to yoga zumba spinning even kickboxing so that's definitely one of their more unique offerings in addition to the usual all-inclusive activity options like kayaking snorkeling and windsurfing their best property, in my opinion, is probably their most well-known one as well, and that's Iberostar Grand Rose Hall in Montego Bay, Jamaica, which is an adults-only, very upscale, all-suite property, 295 suites to be exact, which come with daily restocked minibars, whirlpool tubs, and even furnished balconies. Plus, this location also offers butler service and swim-up suite options. Another plus of this resort is their huge infinity pool. It's so big with multi-levels, a swim-up bar, and really nice ocean views. And this location also offers a really nice half-mile stretch of beach, which stays surprisingly uncrowded and peaceful. 
and because of its location near both Iberia Star Rose Hall Beach and Iberia Star Selection Rose Hall Suites, you get to use all their facilities as well, including their restaurants, casino, nightclub, and spa. And like I said, most Iberia Star properties, especially their adults only locations, offer a free round of golf, and this property is no exception, offering a round at Cinnamon Hill Golf Course. So this location is a really good example of what you get when you book an Ibero Star all-inclusive. But the best part is definitely their incredible number of location options. It's just the best in terms of variety and quantity, and you can enjoy a really nice all-inclusive stay pretty much anywhere in the world through the Ibero Star brand. Number four, all the Hard Rock all-inclusive resorts. The universally popular brand, which has locations throughout the DR and Mexico, if I had to just sum this brand up in a brief statement, I'd say they're the all-inclusive brand that makes every guest happy. From families, to honeymooners, to spring breakers, this brand really has something for everyone, with what I consider to be the most broad and universal appeal out of all the all-inclusive brands. Some of the unique things about this brand that separates them from others include their very popular and uniquely styled rooms, which are always nice and big, and come standard with liquor dispensers, jetted bathtubs, and 24-hour room service. And of course, more uniquely, their Sound of Your Stay program offers musical items that you can use for your stay, from headphones to guitars and even amps, so that's a really cool feature of the brand. Most guests at the Hard Rock properties tend to be couples and bigger groups of friends, but as I said earlier, they're actually very family friendly, which may come as a surprise to some people. And if you're traveling with kids, many of their properties have great kid-friendly amenities, like their signature family suites, kids clubs, kiddie pools, and even children's menus at many of their dining options. The other thing that I'd like to highlight is that the dining options at the Hard Rock All-Inclusives are also really diverse, which might be another surprise. You might just think this is the type of brand to just serve burgers and fries, but they actually offer a lot of really good international cuisine options. And for the most part, the food is very consistently good across the brand. One negative I'd like to briefly mention before we get into a specific location is that tax is not included, so add that 20% into your budgeting. But my pick for the best Hard Rock All-Inclusive is not surprisingly, the Hard Rock Punta Cana. I've talked about this property before, specifically about their pool complex, which is one of the best at any all-inclusive, with a whopping 13 pools. But it's kind of necessary to have that many, as this property is ginormous, with almost 1,800 rooms, 13 restaurants, 23 bars, an 18-hole golf course, plus the largest casino in the entire Dominican Republic. But the best part is that despite its size, it still manages to be a really nice and attractive resort with a lot of luxury, which you wouldn't expect for such a big property. That's a rare thing that usually gets lost in the typical mega all-inclusive. So again, a really good glimpse into the brand, which provides guests with really big properties with a ton of amenities, but you still get attractive and modern facilities with fun touches throughout that are unique to the brand. And best of all, a really wide appeal with something for every type of all-inclusive traveler. So kicking off the top three with the Secrets brand, which won't be a surprise if you've been watching my channel for a while, but I really think this brand doesn't get the respect it deserves and often gets overshadowed by other similar all-inclusive brands. But the quality and dependability of the brand really deserves to be highlighted. So all their properties are adults only with locations in the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Costa Rica, and Mexico. And two things that stand out about their properties. Number one, they're incredibly romantic and very good for honeymoons and anniversary celebrations. And two, they provide a consistently high-end, luxurious, all-inclusive experience, especially for the price point, beginning with their rooms, which are really nice, with furnished balconies or terraces, mini bars, whirlpools for two, and their famous brand trademark, Secret Boxes, which allow guests to get their room service delivered, which is 24-7, by the way, in a way where you don't have to open the door and invade your privacy, so a very nice touch. 
The dining here is also very strong. The spas are good. And their beaches are another big standout. Beautiful beaches that are very secluded and relaxing with full food and drink service. And the Secrets Resort with the best beach is the property I'd like to highlight. Secrets Maroma Beach, located in Riviera Maya, Mexico. And it's a very romantic adults only property with the most beautiful private white sand beach scattered with palapas, cabanas, and sunbeds, perfect for relaxation. And couples can even get massage treatments beachside in one of their cabanas, which is a wonderful experience. And they offer candlelight dinners for two right on the sand as well. And for an all-inclusive that has such a wonderful beach, they have a surprisingly large pool complex with 13, including a beautiful infinity pool with wonderful ocean views. So I love this brand. There's very little to criticize. Tipping and taxes are even included here. But if I had to pick something as a negative, that would be that their locations are definitely focused on relaxation and romance. So if you're not a couple looking for that, their properties might not be the best fit. But if you are celebrating a special romantic occasion or just want some quality time with your loved one, there's no better all-inclusive brand to do just that. Number two, the Zoetry All-Inclusives. I don't think I've highlighted what a great all-inclusive brand this is enough on my channel, and I think it's long overdue. So right away, the two things that make this brand stand out are the fact that their properties are all luxury, boutique-sized properties, so very different from your standard all-inclusives, and the fact that they have a focus on wellness. So you'll have options for meditation and yoga classes, and many of their dining options are health-focused, featuring organic dishes on their menus. But beyond all that, these are some of the most luxurious all-inclusives that you'll find, with many touches that make you feel pampered and much more personalized and attentive service because of their smaller sized properties. Pre-pandemic, their locations provided housekeeping services three times a day. Their rooms are also some of my favorites, just beautiful with modern beachy style decor, nice balconies or terraces, and fully stocked mini bars that are replenished daily, plus 24 hour room service. Another positive, which might be a negative for some travelers, depending on what type of vacation you're looking for, is that their properties are all very peaceful and relaxing. So no parties or loud music. And in addition to the yoga and meditation, I talked about before include cooking and cocktail making classes, cigar rolling lessons, and even horseback riding on the beach. And then dining is also excellent at their properties with that focus on organic ingredients plus unlimited top shelf liquor. All four properties are incredible, but I have to go with their most well-known one to highlight, which is the one in Punta Cana, which in keeping with the boutique style of the brand only has 96 rooms and is honestly one of the nicest and most relaxing resorts in the entire country of the Dominican Republic. You get a peaceful and beautiful white sand beach. Every room is a suite that comes with butler service and one of the best spas in the area as well, which includes a 20 minute massage for all guests. And like I said, because of the smaller size, the staff is wonderful and incredibly helpful. I will say, even though their properties are not adults only and kids are welcome, they don't really have any activities or amenities or even food for children. So if you're looking to travel as a family, this brand won't really meet your needs. But if you're looking for a peaceful and relaxing vacation, this is truly one of the most luxurious brands out there for that, even beyond all inclusive brands. They just make wonderful resorts. And number one, what else could it be but the Excellence brand? I know this will sound cheesy, but they really are excellent in every category. And I hate going with the crowd and common opinions, but this brand always tops all inclusive reviews. And I have to agree, they just consistently are the best brand in the all inclusive space. First of all, and in my experience with these brands, it's probably the most important thing that makes or breaks a good stay, and that's service and the service here is the best. There's no question that their properties are very luxurious, and sometimes you can have a brand like the Ritz-Carlton's or the St. Regis's, which can feel very pretentious. We've experienced that, and you can't fully relax, but that's definitely not the case here. As soon as you arrive, the staff puts you at ease with a smile and glass of champagne and delivers your luggage to your room with a bit of a tour, and they just make you feel very welcome right away. 
The other big thing is that your all-inclusive rate is very generous and includes all meals, snacks, and premium brand alcohol, tipping, taxes, just everything. And as far as dining goes, they change up their menus pretty frequently, and the quality of their dining is always wonderful. I know I keep saying, and another great thing about this brand, but there you go, here's another one. All their properties have wonderful beaches and pools, like a lot of unique pool options. For example, Excellence El Carmen has 23 pools on its own. So because you have so many, these areas never get too crowded, even during peak season. And for my favorite location, yes, the one I've talked about many times on my channel, but I actually think it might be my favorite all-inclusive now, and that's of course Excellence Playa Mujeres, which is adults only and located in a private resort community just north of Cancun, and it's got a ton of everything you could want in an all-inclusive vacation. 10 dining options, 11 bars, seven pools, very modern and luxurious rooms with whirlpool tubs, and you even have the option of swim-up suites and rooftop terrace suites with plunge pools, which I recommend as a splurge if you're celebrating something special. But despite the size of the property, everything still feels personalized and luxurious, which is the hallmark of the brand. My only complaint, which isn't really a complaint, is that they only have five locations, and I doubt they'll ever see this video, but if you do, excellent, please make more resorts. I'm giving them a lot of free publicity right now, but let me just say this. If there's one brand that you have to try at least once just to experience a worry-free, all-inclusive vacation in a luxurious setting, this is the brand to try. The downside is it sets the all-inclusive bar really high and you might be disappointed with others afterward, but they're the best all-inclusive brand and fingers crossed that they continue their standard of excellence. So there you have my top 10 all-inclusive resort brands. And as I always say, I'm sure my opinion could change in the future, but for now, these are the best of the best. If there are any brands that have made you a repeat customer over the years, let me know which ones have won your loyalty and why. And please click the like button if you'd like to see some individual brand reviews in a future video. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye everyone.